Hello everyone, Coco here. So um, I'm going to start this reading off with um, clearing the energy of all negativity. Then allowing in only love, light, and healing. So let's see what messages Spirit wants to deliver for you today. For those this is meant for, for this, th that this is meant to reach. For those who will benefit from hearing this message, those working on healing and growing and moving forward. messages we have I just heard the words Egyptian cloth or Egyptian cotton Someone may be buying new um, linens for the bed or towels, moving, vacationing in a hotel with, um, you know, soft towels or soft uh, linens for the bed. Someone is being guided, spiritually guided in a, a specific direction. I feel like there's a, a certain mission for you to fulfill. It's like you're at a, um, a, a different stage in your life. You have leveled up to a place where you have been divinely guided. Everything that you have done leading up to this point has been for a specific purpose, a specific reason to get you positioned to where you need to be in this very moment. There's a higher purpose for you. I'm also feeling like people are going to know your name. Like you may be stepping into the spotlight for something, teaching others something, sharing your gifts, sharing your talents, your skills with the world and creating revenue for it, you know, being lucrative, just being yourself. You are protected, most definitely. It's like whatever it is that you're moving towards or whatever you're fighting for, working for, working towards, dreaming of, you are divinely guided, you are protected, and your pathway is being made clear. You just have to be sure to follow your intuition, use discernment, and forgive yourself um like if you feel like you are about to or have made a decision that you know isn't in your best interest if you've already done it you know just forgive yourself for it learn from it and move forward if you haven't if you're second guessing or you know debating about something that you're not sure about it makes you confused Keep thinking on it. Keep thinking on it until, you know, there is no confusion. And if you don't get 
any clarity on the situation, just let it go. If it's meant for you, it'll come back. It'll come back around. Remember, one of our main missions, you know, on this life journey, on this spiritual journey, is to flow, is to feel ease and grace and happiness and joy and spread it to others. We're meant to be bountiful and, you know, full of abundance. We have to remember to go within and be our, you know, most authentic self. Like, what are your desires? What makes you happy? What do you want to do with your life? How do you feel right now? Like right now in this moment, how do you feel? Do you feel calm? Do you feel worried? Do you feel stressed? Do you feel giddy? Emotional? Sexual? All of your feelings are a direct, you know, indicator of where you are in your life's journey and your healing. hearing to keep working keep moving forward everything that looks like you know it's difficult or hard or, or too big that you face that you go through is meant to strengthen you it's, it's meant to grow you because once you come out that other side you're gonna look back and be like damn I did that. Like I, in the beginning of it, I didn't know how I was gonna make it through. I didn't know if I would make it through, but I did, and I'm better. I made it through better than I was when I went in. It's like being, you know, being that diamond in the rough that got, you know, pressured into the diamond. That piece of coal that got pressured so much it turned into a diamond wasn't too little of pressure wasn't too much of pressure it was the right amount the perfect amount of pressure to create that that diamond I'm hearing honing. You've been honing your skills. You've been researching, learning. I'm even hearing that someone in the dream realm has been experiencing some things that are helping them to grow in the 5D. The 4D, the 5D, all the way up to, what is it? Did they say it's 22 dimensions? say you've hit 22 dimensions yet <laughs> but you up there you are a chosen one you are are very close to to the 22 closer than most because you know who you are you know what you want I feel like the person, the people that I'm talking to, because this feels like a group of people. It's not just one person that's going through this ascension of a chosen one, of a, you know, a divine light worker. This is a group of people. You learned how to balance yourself, to keep yourself grounded, to stay rooted. You know, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what, you know, chaos is trying to surround you or overcome you, you stayed rooted and grounded in faith. And it brought you here. It brought you to this place where you are right at the precipice of 
your abundance of the things that are gonna make you look back at this time and and remember that I, I needed that I needed to go through all of that I went through to get here because I wouldn't be who I am now I wouldn't be the person that could for one handle the abundance that's coming towards me you don't want to get abundance and then you're not ready internally so you fuck it up you throw away everything you worked hard for with one wrong move you want to be ready for it you want to be abundant but you also want to be prepared at the same time It feels like you know that something big is coming towards you. It feels like this video is confirmation for something. This video feels like confirmation for someone. My throat is getting scratchy, so it feels like a message of communication that you asked for or communication that you need. I'm hearing to be brave. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. Have faith in the universe. Look ahead. If you look back for anything, let it be to, to learn more lessons in case you missed something. But don't dwell there. Someone may be looking to be a speaker. I'm hearing a podcast. An influencer of some sort. Maybe you might be afraid of the spotlight, afraid of your success, but don't be scared. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't be scared. Mm -mm. I'm hearing it will be greater later. Remember that you are the master of your own destiny. Yes, God has our our paths rooted out for us, but we have free will. We have the will to move as we like, move in the way that makes us happy. And if you are moving in a way that makes you happy and does not harm others, but can help others, you better believe your way will be clear. You better believe you are in sync with God, with the divine, with your higher self. If you leave with love, you'll be guided with love and vice versa. Balance out your throat chakra. I'm also hearing to balance out your sacral chakra. These are your chakras of communication, of, you know, confidence, of creativity, balance. I connect with God. Unconditional love surrounds me. These are your affirmations. So I connect with God, spirit, ancestors, source, universe, higher self, whoever you connect with, affirm it. I connect with, insert here. Unconditional love surrounds me. I have financial abundance. like this message is for someone who is a legacy builder for you know for your family 
the mission that you are on, I am unapologetically me. The mission that you are on not only affects you, but it affects all of the generations after you. You're going to be building this family up on a platform that's going to remain stable. It's going to be strong. It's going to, it's, I'm hearing stronghold. This is like hundreds of years of legacy being built through you. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Strength is my armor. <clears throat> That's why things have, you know, it, it. there have been times when things have looked dark and gloomy for you. But you went through those things to mold you into this incredible being that you are right now so that you, your decisions are are better your choices are better you know you move better you trust yourself more you trust god i am co-creator with spirit you're not moving in doubt and if you feel doubt you know that that's an indicator to stop to slow down to pray to meditate to ground yourself more affirmation I give love <clears throat> I give love I am a teacher so <laughs> I'm not I'm not even I'm not gonna say that I'm just gonna stop right here and leave you with those affirmations because if I keep talking I'm gonna go on and on and just tell you you know your whole life story <laughs> your whole life story or you know what you're trying to move forward towards in a million different ways so that you will get it so that you will you know pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities from God from spirit from your higher self tap in Pay attention. Trust yourself. I pray all is well for you. I send you plenty of love and light and gratitude for allowing me to deliver these messages for you, for, you know, subscribing to me, for sharing my, you know, my videos and things, patronizing my business, for just showing me love. Thank you. I love you all. Namaste.